My name's Luke Hudson. Uh, I play bass um, in a band called Strelka, a Leeds-based band. We're kind of like a mis mix match of like post-punk and like shoegaze and like dark, moody kind of indie stuff. So all our influences kind of coming together, but we kind of um, we just brought a new single, so we kind of found our new sound within that. Um, I mean, think it sounds pretty good and a little bit different. But I started the band. Um, well, it was me, uh, the drummer Max Conway, and the current uh, rhythm guitarist Alex Worrell. We were in a band, just the three of us, for a year or two. Then we had a break for a bit and decided to take it a bit more seriously. So we got a new singer in, Ella Heaton, and uh, a new lead guitarist um, called Josh Palmer. We are now on bass. And we've just been writing songs, um, we've got a few gigs coming up and um, it's going really well so far. I've been to music for ages, um, sort of from my parents, in particular my dad. He always used to play kind of um, like the post-punk stuff in the 90s bands. Um, as I was growing up, I've taken it a bit further and explored, obviously a bit more, taking it to the extreme, but um, I've always been into music. I only picked up a guitar um, when I was 18, so not that long, I'm 20 now, and I've just taught myself. I like to say that I can I can play the music that I'd like to listen to myself, so I'm, I'm not like not like an amazing guitarist or bassist by any means, but the music that I want to make, I can play. But when I was 18, that's when I um, learned, I bought an electric guitar, and then I've only just been playing bass in this new band, but it's not too difficult to pick up. Yeah, but I just thought when I had the money and, and the time and the actual drive to, to learn something. And I knew people who, like I knew the drummer and, and a bassist, so it was, I never wanted to just learn an instrument and not do anything with it. Um, I knew that I'd had, I'd had a band um, capacity to, to use it in, so that's when I picked it up. Um, and I was the vocalist as well, but I can't sing. One that sticks out is um, when I was really young. Um, there's an album that really makes me nostalgic. It's a band that not many people have heard of they're called JJ72. And it was a CD that my dad used to play all the time when I was really young. Um, and it's just really good. It's kind of just like 90s. Um, alternative rock really but that album just gives me really good nostalgia and it just kind of throws me back whenever I, whenever I hear it and stick it on. Um, I don't. It was probably something it was probably something like the Beatles, one of the Beatles, Red or Beatles, Blue CDs. Um, I might have bought it at the same time actually. So that's like the early stuff and then the later stuff. It's probably one of them too. Probably laziness, probably just wanting to have a career in making music um, and maybe not particularly getting paid much but be having enough to live on and not wanting to get a proper job. Just wanting to create sounds that people um, really enjoy and can resonate with um, in any capacity, whatever the sound is. Just using, tool, using the tools to kind of reach people on a level, um, yeah, as well as laziness. For me in particular, I really like, um, well my top three, my favourite three bands are probably um, The Pixies, um, Echo and the Bunnymen and uh, Spaceman 3. So I like, I like to imagine that kind of covers all the bases of like the grunge stuff with The Pixies and then like the 80s um, new wave stuff and post-punk with Echo and the Bunnymen and then like the psychedelic stuff, noisy stuff with Spaceman 3. Um, but as well as that, there's a guy called The Rebel, Ben Wallace, and he's like DIY um, aesthetic. He's in a band called Country Teasers, and his sort of music, and the way he writes lyrics and things, um, he's a big influence on me. But with my bass playing and stuff, probably a Kim Deal from The Pixies and The Breeders, she's probably who I base my bass playing sound off the most. Probably, um, probably is the Killing Moon 
by Echo and the Bunny Man. That's the song that, well, Ian McCulloch from The Bunny Man, he says that it's the best song ever written. And uh, whenever I hear it, I find it quite hard to disagree. Everything is both a hobby, um, a skill, and a passion. It's like, it combines all three, and um, it's just, it's got the power to like give you like goosebumps or whatever, or the power to kind of make you jump around and go crazy, or dance or whatever. It's just kind of everything, and it's all around, like, it's just everywhere.